Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a wizard with a summary step at the end, so your users would be able to view the summary and then go back to each of the steps to still edit something. By the way, I apologize for my voice, have a bit of a flu, but still want to shoot this interesting example. And this example comes from our filamentexamples.com where we collect more and more interesting examples, both free and paid. So there's free category for snippets, but in this case, it's a premium project. So if you navigate to forms, you can see wizard with summary step. But in this video, I will show you most of the core code that you need. But if you still want the full source as well as other projects, you can still get it on filamentexamples.com. Now, demonstration. So you fill in the form with some data. It doesn't really matter what data is, some steps with some data. In this case, one field for each of the steps, like notifying the users. And then this is what I wanted to show you. Now let's take a look at the code. So the whole kind of magic happens in the create page of your resource. In this case, it's app filament resources, task resource, pages create task. In here, you add has wizard as a trait from filament, and then you define the steps for your wizard. Typically, like you would do in any other wizard, so wizard step with schema with text input, that's the first step, the second step, and the third step. So nothing really fancy here. But then you add the fourth step, which is much more interesting. Step with label summary, and then we build multiple sections, and each of the sections has three things that you need to know. First, section name, which happens to be on top, then placeholder with the data that we get from the get variable that contains all the form data, all the current form. So if we go here, so this is get name, this is get due date and so on. So this is kind of a tip, by the way, in your forms, you can show the data, show the current data somewhere for summary, not necessarily in a wizard, but just as a placeholder here. And then the third thing in each section is header actions. And this is where we get to action make and we have blade view here. So we created a specific blade view called edit button with a parameter of which step it is. And that renders the button. And if you click that button, then you land on that specific step. And this happens with Alpine JS. Let me show you. So as you can see, all of those sections contain edit button with step name due date, step notify user and step name. And this is the code of that edit button blade. We render filament button. And then this is the main line that we need to look at x on click. It's an Alpine JS syntax and filament is based on Livewire and Livewire contains Alpine JS in itself automatically. So basically in JavaScript, you assign the current step to whatever parameter you pass when calling that blade view, which is exactly what we're doing here with step as a parameter. And then for submitting the form, you don't need to do anything specifically. So next, next, next. And the last step of the wizard automatically contains the create button to fill in and submit the full form. What do you think about this example? Would you have done it any other way? You can get the full source code on GitHub as well as other examples, as I mentioned, at filamentexamples.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.